you were talking about being a leader of an album, which I, you've done a lot of producing albums. In fact, it's Roger Glover and Deep Purple produced this record, yes. right? Mm -hmm. And how does it compare musically with the old Deep Purple with the current Deep Purple? And how is it working producing Richie and Ben being Deep Purple as opposed to Rainbow? So first just give me the comparisons between the old Deep Purple and the old. Um, I'm actually very close to it. And I don't think I have the objectivity necessary to give you the correct answer that I think you're looking for. I think there's a difference in, in technique. Um, recording techniques are a lot different now than they were. Earlier you mentioned that it was a progression. Tell me, explain it to me. Um, we're all 11 years older. And I think the way we think and the way we write and the way we perform obviously have undergone some changes. We've all been active in the music business and we've all absorbed a lot more influences in 11 years. It's not, we're not the same people. We bear the same names, but um, I'm sure we've all grown and we've all changed in that time. And I think, to me, the, the songwriting is maybe a slightly mature. Um, that may be a good or bad thing. I can't tell. I'm too close to that. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, I get excited about it. Um, in fact, I, I'm more excited about this album than I think I was about any album that we made in the early days. Um, so if I can get excited about it, I, I assume that someone else will. <laughs> and the album is done, mm -hmm. and now you're looking ahead to the tour. Can you? First, do we have too much noise for this? I want to talk about the tour. No, we should get this. Tell me about the tour. Like, what songs you'll be doing? Old songs, new songs. What the stage show is going to look like? The um, the basic thing about the old songs is that we I think would be foolish not to do any of them. Um, well, if we didn't, we wouldn't have enough material. <laughs> so, um, I think the audience would be disappointed if they didn't hear some of the old material. But. Um, as Roger said earlier, it's not a nostalgia trip, so that's one of the reasons why we made a new album. So that we, we could be seen to be a band that is current, that exists now in 1984, not through sort of rose-tinted spectacles in, in 1974. Um, so we'll be doing most of the new album on stage, and a few of the, well, quite a few of the old numbers as well. Um, some of them with slightly different arrangements. Um, it was great fun playing them again, I tell you. It was, we, we had a, one serious argument about what key Highway Star was in, but uh, <laughs> I think I won. <laughs> what about the set? Um, well, actually, we're not sure about the set yet. Um, we've been so hard at work doing the album and doing the rehearsals. I know that we're, we have to... We're in uh, a stage of <coughs> making decisions mm -hmm. about that and being presented with options. We don't want to go completely over the board. Uh, looking back at the old days, in fact, we used to use no set at all. It was very, very plain. Nobody did. And it's going to be a bit more than that. But I think for us to have this uh, massive, great overbone mm -hmm. set would be a mistake as well. So we're trying to find somewhere uh, in between, something that presents us, but presents us in a fairly natural way. Mm -hmm. Before I let you guys go, obviously, I have to ask you about video plans. And and we've heard, you know, that Richie is not exactly the most comfortable guy in front of the camera. And what are you playing for videos from the album? Again, we've been so uh, caught up in making the album that we haven't really <coughs> discussed it too much. I, I would find it a bit difficult to get into a situation where we had to act something, you know. Um, if we can come up with a, a storyline for, for a video that that wouldn't impose too much acting upon us, then I'd be quite happy. I don't want to sort of be, a, be something else, like, a, you know, wielding a sword and screaming across the studio on a, on a piece of rope. And, you know. I, I, it's not, that's not me. I'm, you know, I, I'd like to be filmed at home reading a book. That would be much more me. Actually, it sounds like we haven't given it a lot of thought, but we have. Um, and what we've come up with so far is nothing. We're kind of undecided whether to even do a video. We have been shooting documentary type footage, which may or may not be turned into something. Um, but I think every band goes through a certain route towards getting a hit record. One route. is making the record route here. Yeah. One is making the record, two is, uh, is going on tour, and three is putting a single out and making a video. And there's all these different things that, according to the business, one has to do. Uh, we're not necessarily agreeing that we should have to do all those things. We're not looking for a, 
a specific single. If one presents itself on the album, then I don't think we'd be against putting it out as a single. But there's nothing written as a single. There's no specific play track. And I think the same goes for video. We're not actually out to exploit ourselves um, to the detriment of our music. The music is what comes 